a Polaroid SX70 with the dreaded door latch issue. Uh, this comes from opening it like this versus opening it like this, which even doing that is <laughs> just feels wrong sometimes. So here's the film door. What happens is this latch here gets busted. Um, here's my replacement latch. And really what ends up breaking is this little nub here. Um, this, this piece here breaks off and then the film door no longer stays in the up position. So, I guess today's journey is going to be removing this bottom leatherette covering. Actually, this isn't really leatherette, this is actual leather. So, try to maintain this in the, as original shape as possible. But, remove that, get the gear train out, and get that replaced. Well, I mean, it's, it's either going to be a successful repair, or this is going to be a video on how not to uh, fix an SX-70 door latch. So, we'll see. One or the other. That's the one thing with these, you know, journeys. You never know what you're getting into. Well, you can try to know, but you never know how it's going to go. like to preserve the leather as much as possible because uh, it just has a nice patina to it. I really don't want to have to replace it, but you know, if I do, I do. I also don't want to slice my fingers. Might be made slightly easier by using heat, but To me, that's another another risk that I'm just not willing to take. Probably gonna have to separate those two to get them back on. I'm alright with not having the the aluminum backing on it, maybe. careful about where I put the adhesive when I glue it back together. Plus I'm losing a good bit of the losing a good bit of the leather itself. Maybe that'll go back on, maybe not.
Alright. So this was the other thing I was worried about. And looking online, it was going to go one of two ways. I was either going to get down here and find regular old Phillips heads, or I was going to get down here and find these guys. Which these uh, are the squares. The one millimeter by one millimeter, I think it is, square heads. This is what it looks like. So that's going to be another issue because I don't have a driver that fits these. Um, a lot of guys are saying that you can take similar tool similar to this and file it. That ain't going to work. Um, that might actually, that might actually engage. Well, the other thing we should do is get this adhesive out of the way so I need to see what I'm doing. So, just some denatured alcohol. What I'm going to use to get them out. So this is an S2 T5. Let's see. I'll put this down in there. It 
does not, I can't get it down in, I can't get it down past. So that one's too big. So let's save that to the side. S2T4. S2T4. I mean, it fits in, but I, there's, it fits in, right? And then there's play. And I don't, mm, I'm not a big fan of that. Of course, that one, because it has adhesive, fits tight. I don't even know if I can get it down into this one, because of the adhesive. Well, it fits pretty tight there. That one fits real nice and tight. So let's try the S2 T4. Oh, yeah. Looky there. S2 T4 it is. Wow, the other thing I should... <laughs> Once again, um... Just... Just because you see somebody do it doesn't mean they know what they're doing. Again, what I should have done, my very first step before I even started in on any of this, should have been to remove... the door. But, you know... Sometimes, sometimes you're just not smart enough to do it right the first time. Oh, yeah. 